Hi, I'm Wendy. Today I'm going to talk about the best ways to start and finish your sewing, um, how to use the tension setting on your sewing machine and how to use the seam guides so that you can make sure you get nice, straight, accurate sewing. So the tension dial controls how tight or how loose your stitches are which usually is dictated by what sort of fabric you're sewing. So you need to just try and remember that if you've got a lighter weight fabric, you need a looser tension, which is a lower number. So it's all the L's. So we'd go down to number three. Then if you're sewing with a much thicker fabric or you're sewing through lots of layers of fabric, you need a tighter stitch. So you need to go up to a higher number. And I'd go up to about five. For most normal sewing, the range of three to five is going to be absolutely fine. On the needle plate of your sewing machine, you will likely have lots of lines and numbers. These are seam guides and they're really useful for being able to position your sewing accurately and for sewing in straight lines. To use them, if you put your fabric underneath your presser foot and then rest the cut edge of your fabric level with the seam guide that corresponds with the seam allowance you're using. I'm using this one that says 15 because all of the seam allowances that I work with are usually 15 millimetres or a centimetre and a half which is 5 eighths of an inch. So if you put your fabric level with that line then when you start sewing you're going to be sewing a one and a half centimetre seam allowance in a nice straight line. I'm going to show you some tips for starting and finishing your sewing which will help you to avoid getting in a tangle. They're tips that often aren't in your sewing machine manual but they can make your sewing much more easy. So to start with, if you put the end of your fabric far enough under the presser foot so that the fabric is going to be covered by this hole in the presser foot. If you put it here, right at the front, then there's not enough fabric there for the machine to get hold of to feed it through the machine. All that will happen is that it will just sew up and down in one place and form a great big tangle of thread. So we're going far enough under to cover the hole. We're lining the cut edge up with the seam allowance. We're going to bring the needle down into the fabric using the hand wheel. Now I've got a hand wheel on my machine or I've got a button for up down. So I'm going to use the button, my needle goes into the fabric and only then am I going to use my foot pedal. Another tip about pins. Lots of sewing books might tell you it's fine to sew over pins if you've got them in like this at right angles. Don't. Take them out as you go along because even if you sew over them, your needle might catch the edge of the pin which will damage the end of your needle and then it can damage your fabric. When you get to the end of what you're sewing, don't sew off the edge of the fabric. So you're going to stop just before you get to the end. And then in a similar way to how we started, we need to have the needle up at its highest point so that we can take the fabric out of the machine easily. Again, if your machine's got an up-down button, you can use that. Or just use your hand wheel and turn it until this hook is fully visible and all the way at the top. Then you can lift your presser foot and your fabric will easily pull out of the machine. You won't feel like it's stuck and like you've got millions of threads.